Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Corey Tafoya, the Harvard District 50s superintendent, and I'm pleased to be joined today by Erin Harris. Erin is a high school uh, teacher, and she does a wide array of things. I'll let her explain to you all the things she's doing, but the, the primary reason for our Facebook Live event today is to talk about our business incubator program. Uh, we're nearing the end of the year, and uh, we want to talk to Erin a little bit more about the end of the year. Uh, we're getting close to the idea of our students uh, coming to closure with this idea they've been talking about a time, and it certainly is quite a, a process, and I know that um, when we started thinking about this class, you know, 18 months ago or mm -hmm. maybe longer, uh, this is a moment that seemed far, far away, and I'm sure you've learned tons of things <laughs> and have many, many notes on what to do and not do in year two, but um, but Aaron is this dynamic warm and encouraging teacher that you just love your kid to have. If my teacher was, or if my kids could have oh, an Aaron Harris, I would love that. It is also a uh, National Teacher Appreciation Day, and I think it's a perfect day to have you here with us because uh, we uh, here in Harvard are just blessed to have hundreds of great teachers that every day come with this attitude like, you know what? I'm going to make you successful even if it, it kills me. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to never give up on you, and I'm going to do all these things it takes to make you successful. And so um, before we talk to Aaron specifically, I just want to wish all of our teachers um, happy Teacher Appreciation Day, and thanks for all you do for us because uh, that day-to-day -day interaction and the meaningful um, interactions you have with the kids make them successful is why we're, we're doing what we do, do here, and we're so excited. So thanks on behalf of all the teachers thanks. to Aaron here. So Aaron, why don't you just start off with telling us a little bit about um, how long have you been at Harvard High School, um, some of the things you've taught in that time, and a little bit about yourself, and then we'll get more specifically into the incubator. Okay, so this is my fourth year at Harvard High School and I came to Harvard after teaching at McHenry County College. I was an adjunct, adjunct instructor there. I've also done a wide variety of jobs other than in education so being a teacher isn't my first um, career. Hopefully I'll just stay a teacher. That'd be I great. Hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> uh, and I would just like to stay in Harvard the whole time too. So a uh, big shout out to all the staff and teachers at the high school and throughout the district so you're appreciated and Thanks for doing what we do. Mm -hmm. um, I have a degree from Western Illinois University. Go Leathernecks. Yeah, yeah, actually in uh, law enforcement. And then I have a master's uh, in teaching from Ashford University. So, awesome. um, yeah, and I'm awesome. excited to start my fifth year at Harvard next year. Very good, very good. Um, what other classes do you teach other than the incubator? So uh, right now I teach what's called Type and Tech, which we'll be phasing out next year in place of a brand new class called Introduction to Business. Oh, awesome. So really excited to bring that class to our department mm. in our business department. I also teach marketing, which is uh, a semester class for juniors and seniors. Business law, also a junior senior course. And then I teach interrelated occupations, which is our right. program where we have the students in the building for part of the day, but then they go out to the community and they're working. Mm -hmm. And um, gosh, I know I'm missing one class. Oh, incubators. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that, that rounds out my what day. A, what yeah. a good and natural segue. Um, one thing I would say that is a really unique facet of Harvard High School and a real strength is the business department. Um, not very many schools of 750, 800 students have a full-blown business uh, department yeah. of three teachers. Um, I was formerly in a school of about 2,000 and we had one and a half. Yeah. So it just says a lot about the, those teachers and that they're attracting students to these programs. And, and I just love that because I'm a strong believer in the idea that we want to expose kids to ideas of things that may you know help them down mm -hmm. the road in their future and show them, hey, this is something I can really be good at. And uh, that idea of what's the next, it may not necessarily be college because sometimes like these business incubator students, they may just decide I'm going for it, I'm going to do mm -hmm. that. So it may be, um, it's just uh, future focus is what uh, Moore Bridges uh, calls it, is how do we prepare them for these things? And so to have that many business teachers, because some of us end up, you know, in these homegrown things and having as much background, that yeah. is really good. And I think what the beauty of it is, is sometimes you don't know you're going to become an entrepreneur or a business right. owner. So you look back and think like, oh, I remember taking that class in mm -hmm. high school or, you know, accounting. How many times mm -hmm. does that come up, whether yeah. you're an employee at a company or you are right. managing your own company. So that background that uh, Kathleen Grimm 
instills in our students in our accounting one and two classes just yeah. so important. And um, the graphic design skills that Lisa Isley teaches mm -hmm. can be used anything from your own personal yeah. photos to enhancing photos that you work at your company. So there's yeah. just so many different classes to pick from. And so we're, we're really lucky that yeah. I'm one of three and mm -hmm. um, happy that Harvard has such a strong business department. Amen to that. It's a dynamic program. And so for everyone's background, Erin, why don't you give them just a, a short synopsis of how we decided that the incubator program was something that we should sure. bring to Harvard and kind of how, what's the history of it? The why would this be a good class for our students? So it all started when I was uh, my freshman year, I like to call it. And I guess I'm a senior this <laughs> right. year, right? Then you're Congratulations. <laughs> I'm not graduating though. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, so when I was my first year here, four years ago, I just got this random email in my inbox inviting me to go take a look at an incubator program at Hananiga High School. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what an incubator was. Um, I pretty much thought it was something that maybe was in our ag science department sure. and it was missing directed. Uh -huh. So I went, I opened it, I looked at it, and I'm like, wait, this is a business class. We don't have this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ask permission to go uh, take a look at it. So I drove out to Hananiga, had a, a free lunch, because who doesn't turn that down, right? right. And um, I saw their business incubator program. And by the end of the presentation, I was completely hooked. Like, mm -hmm. we need this now. Mm -hmm. Today, tomorrow, but pretty soon. Right. And um, with the change of leadership that the building and the district was going to be experiencing, I, I had to kind of wait my turn, and mm -hmm. that's fine. So the next year, I went to another school. I, and I, I can't remember where I went though. Barrington. Uh, I didn't go to Barrington. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I can't remember. No, I think we had other teachers go okay. to Barrington, maybe. And I'm like, you got to go. This is a great program. You're going to love it. And and Lisa and Kathleen came back, and they were really excited yeah. too. We had to wait till you got sure. here and mm -hmm. to Carl uh, Hobbs came mm -hmm. and then it was it was go time yeah. and this program is really great um, it brings together business professionals that you bring into your classroom mm -hmm. to help incubate or grow an idea much like a, a, a incubator you might find in a, a farming situation it's growing mm -hmm. an idea so you're not incubating eggs you're mm -hmm. incubating ideas mm -hmm. and it it's uh, it's a great program um, you know, most times when you have a classroom, it's just the teacher and those students that are in your room. Mm -hmm. But with Incubator, I'm not necessarily the teacher in the room. I'm still the education professional, but we bring in other people that kind of take my place as right. far as real world business experience. Of course, I do have that, uh -huh. but they bring it from, they were just at work. The now. They're, they're here for their lunch break and they're going to go back to the <laughs> right. go back there. So so for our kids who've been through the traditional class where you kind of explore this theoretical concept, this is much different because they're actually going to really do it and this becomes a, a real thing to them in many ways. Is that kind of one yes. of the differences? So I mean in most classes and even other classes that I teach that aren't incubator, you take a test you learn a concept, you take a Scantron test, you mm. move on to the next mm -hmm. topic. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, or fortunately, incubator is completely different. So it's a big shift from what a student might know right. to what they're going to be asked to do yeah. right you know, on May 13th. Yeah. So there is no, there are no Scantron tests in incubator. It's mm -hmm. completely, completely different. Right. And I think that can be both exciting and even scary at times. Yeah. For sure. So maybe talk about that. Um, I mean, for the students as we get closer to the, the pitch day, this experience for them is probably unlike they've ever had at this point. So what are some of the things that they're going through now? Because as I was in a former district going through um, this experience, I remember those kids getting ready for this first pitch and just being terrified of that first presentation, that first opportunity and not thinking they're ready and just being mm -hmm. scared and saying, oh, we gotta do it and just really freaking out. Um, that that was such a normal experience and I think they learned that in the end, the amount of knowledge they had was way more than they thought and oh, sure. it was really quite good, even though I think they were their own worst critics. Um, what are our students learning through the course of the, of the year? I mean, because it is, like I said, really all about preparation for what's beyond high school. Mm -hmm. It's not designed for this. Uh, it's, it's designed to help them. What are our kids learning? What's the benefit, do you think, to some of our kids who have gone through this whole experience? So I think um, 
we did what was called the MVP pitch, which was about halfway through. And they were really nervous then too. Mm -hmm. And when they were done, they were like, oh, maybe that wasn't so bad, mm -hmm. but now they're gonna do it again, but there are higher expectations. So the mm -hmm. same people that came and critiqued them in February are gonna be there again on May 13th. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I equate it to almost like a job interview when you have to get up and sell yourself during a job interview. Yep. Um, this is a skill while there is a support of their two to three other team members with them, but it's it's a lot of that public speaking interview skills that they're gonna do again yeah. throughout their life. I would have never ever thought that I would have to publicly speak. Right. And I'm a teacher, yeah, right? And right. I tell the kids all the time that I actually despise public speaking. If you you wouldn't know it, right. I'm doing Facebook Live. Yeah, you can talk um, to kids, but right. in a whole different manner when you're in front of them. And I'm, I think anytime I get up and publicly speak, I'm pretty nervous too, mm -hmm. because sure. it's just maybe not something that we normally yeah. do. Right. Um, I can think about the last time I spoke at the Chamber of Commerce dinner. I was terrified mm -hmm. to get up there and speak about yeah. Incubator, something I'm pretty familiar with. Right. So I know that the kids are pretty nervous about it, mm -hmm. but they're going to do a great job. Yeah. Um, as evidence that I saw last night, I went to another school's incubator pitch. You know, not they can't answer all the questions that right. the judges are going to ask them, that's okay. and that's totally normal. Right. But if you've ever watched like a Shark Tank show, they always can't answer the questions yeah. that the celebrity judges pass out to them. And either. they have producers. It's right. not a live show. It's, right. Yeah. That's taped, right? right? You can like right. not you can't stop and right. redo what we're gonna do. So I know that it might be really nerve nerve wracking yeah. for them to get up and do this, but because it's live, there are no yeah. outtakes, but they can do it. Yeah. Well, I can tell you're really proud of them. Yeah, for I what, am what they've been through and and I think that's the one thing that I would say, we're all proud of you because going through this <laughs> class where you've got to really learn a lot because we uh, purchased the curriculum, you know, mm -hmm. over about a year and a half and so, or maybe, yeah, about a year and a quarter ago where you've been spending all this time developing and because it isn't just a, a canned curriculum where you just have to open up the book and say, this is what you teach today. You have to plan that because you mentioned the community involvement and I think, um, talk about how that has I mean, you know a lot of people in the community because of the IRO class you teach, but how is that connection to the community made through Incubator, and what are some of the interesting connections that have been made through Incubator? So my new favorite nickname for myself, I guess, is I'm the Incubator Lady. So when I go into a business, <laughs> right. they're like, hey, you're the Incubator Lady. All right. I'm like, all right, yeah, I guess my business card says that, too. Right. I prefer to be Erin, but, sure. you know, or Mrs. Right. Harris, whatever. Um so I guess that's in a community where I'm, um, I don't live, mm -hmm. I'm becoming known as someone who associates, is associated with the high school and I'm right. so proud of that, Great. obviously. Um, so I, I enjoy that aspect yeah. of it. Right. But we, like I said, I'm not the only person in the classroom that the kids get to see. Right. You know, you might have an occasional guest speaker, but mm -hmm. for example, the four mentors that come in our classroom once a week since November, you know, they are as much a part of the classes as well, who, I am. Who are they? Let's give them a little shout oh, out. I sure. think they're really deserving that. Yeah. I know you've had a great relationship with them. Who are our so, four mentors? So um, one of our group mentors is uh, Samantha Tucker from Custom Window Fashions. Mm -hmm. And then another is Vicki Schultz from Twin Garden Farms. And then um, we have Mimi Book from Book Farm. And we also have Teresa Hollinger from Mercy Health. So uh, we have four men we have four student groups, and then each group is an assigned a mentor who comes in mm -hmm. and meets with them. They correspond back with them. They give them advice. They give them direction. So those students, while I'm the teacher, their I guess like secondary teacher mm -hmm. would then be their mentor. So they've been working really closely with them. Right, that's a lot of time. One of the things that I'm really proud about um, the program and Aaron is that we have a, a female teacher. Uh -huh. We have four female mentors, and yep. we have girls in our class because in my former district, we had the hardest time getting girls to understand oh, that yeah. this is absolutely for you. Get get going here. Oh, there are sure. a lot of uh, female entrepreneurs. So is that something you've noticed, um, kind of the gender, helping our girls understand this is a great opportunity for you? Yeah. I. Um how many, you know, there's obviously women owned businesses, minority owned businesses. Mm -hmm. So I think it's so great to show um, our students, both male and female, right, right, right. that, you know, business is really for anyone mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's just not a male dominated profession. Right. Yeah. So um, 
I don't think that I'm breaking any barriers being a, a business teacher, a female business mm -hmm. teacher, but I do think it's pretty outstanding that we had the opportunity to have four female yeah. mentors. Yeah. And I think when I talked to other incubator teachers throughout the county or just in discussions, they were like, you have four female mentors? That's yeah. 100%. And yeah. I'm like, yep, that's great, yeah. right? Because yeah. that shows that we have really strong business women mm -hmm. um, and they're in our community too. Yeah, right. And we do have a really strong and supportive business community. I've experienced that too through some of the things and talking about this is people want to do that because uh, I have this weird theory that kids really don't know what to do with their life other than, you know, what their parents' job may be sure. or teacher or doctor. And that's kind of what I know I might be. And so, <laughs> Things yeah. like this that we can provide for our students that help you know broaden their understanding of um, what those their opportunities that lay out there are really useful and so the community connections really matter I think I think it's great um, I would be remiss in saying that our community champion uh, who works really closely with me is also female so uh, big yeah. shout out to Crystal Musgrove yeah. from our Harvard Chamber of Commerce yeah. who serves as my liaison to the business community sure um, so again our top management of incubator was 100% sure. women so if someone wants to get involved with our uh, program for next year um, do they just reach out to you and say oh, sure. how do I get involved because we had, we do have a lot of opportunities for people to because there's also community members that come in and help instruct along the way right right and in fact um, you know we we always want people to come in and work with us so if you're interested um, hopefully you're watching this presentation today mm -hmm. or you're gonna watch it later and you'll contact me at the high school mm -hmm. um, you can contact me through email or through um, the district office obviously I'm sure you have people coming up to you all the time saying where's that incubator lady <laughs> direct, direct <laughs> right. him right downstairs Absolutely. to roommate uh, give me a call send me an email right. uh, flag me down when I'm mm -hmm. coming to school um, very few times will I tell you no but I don't want you in my classroom. In <laughs> sure. fact, I probably won't turn you down right. at all. Wonderful. Um, because this incubator program is the capstone experience for, for seniors, what things have you learned about um, the curriculum and maybe other classes that you teach? Um, for example, like a big part of this is um, uh, public speaking, as we were just talking mm -hmm. about. Is that something now that maybe there'll be some new lessons in some of the preparatory classes that freshmen and sophomores get so that the, um, I guess, the fear of the unknown of public speaking is sure. something they've maybe handled before? Or are there other lessons that you've learned from this capstone that you're going to maybe put down into some of the lower levels uh, in, as they prepare for this Definitely. experience? Um, that's a great question. I think that with the introduction of our new Intro to Business course, mm -hmm. I think we're taking some of the top tier lessons that we see in incubator and kind of introducing them mm. to our freshmen sophomores and juniors who choose to take that class and in fact that's got a overwhelming reply or response to the mm -hmm. enrollment in that class and so we're so excited to have um there are a lot of sections i don't i don't know the numbers <laughs> off the top of my head but that's when i great. looked at them i was like whoa yeah that's great um so we're really excited to show those uh, basic concepts of you know what's right. the concept of a break even because we mm -hmm. had to talk about that in yeah. incubator and right. that kind of was a foreign concept mm -hmm. um, what's what is marketing and how do you use that and what's the benefit of it so sometimes I had some students in my marketing class and in my incubator concurrent enrollment and they were like hey we we just talked about that in <laughs> right. incubator or hey right. we just talked right. about that in marketing right. um, I think the idea of public speaking is something that we just need to work on throughout the curriculum in many different areas as getting kids and students, scholars really, involved in doing presentations yeah, right. and speaking publicly um, because I think we hide behind a screen a lot. We can send sure. emails and yeah. we can send text messages, but yeah. we need that face-to-face -face per personal interaction yeah. and our jobs in the future even though technology will be such a big piece of it, mm -hmm. uh, public speaking is yeah. certainly yeah. something that we all can work on. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, uh, we're going to wrap this up, but Erin, uh, I just want to thank you for your courage Thanks. to take on this endeavor for the district. <laughs> and I know that as you think about it, um, is, and as those students go through that uh, Intro to Business course, they'll have a, a broader experience and yeah. will walk into it maybe a little prepared. And I want to thank the kids that have been in this uh, class. They really deserve a lot of credit. Uh, 
to be the guinea pigs for so many things <laughs> yeah. is really a challenging thing. And I just want to thank them and tell them all that I'm really proud of them uh, for their efforts. It's it's not easy, and um, we're excited to support them along the way, and we know they've learned a lot. So um, this has been really useful. Thanks for highlighting one of our uh, signature programs this year and one of the things that uh, we're doing to make the experience of our students in Harvard as meaningful and relevant as we can, preparing them for the the world beyond Harvard High School, of course. And uh, Definitely. Aaron, thanks for all your efforts. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Okay. Glad to be a part of it. Thanks, everyone. We appreciate your time.